What if the state of Virginia kept its original claims? As you can see in reality, Virginia ain't so thick, but in 1609, it was massive. It's actually been losing territorial claims slowly but surely. It used to even be a pretty big boy until the 19th century, and it even lost West Virginia. But this is a perfect universe in which Virginia stays Virginia, although I see they still somehow lost Western Virginia. So in this world, this new state, or maybe country, I don't even know at this point, it's an empire, controls places like Philly, Detroit, all the way down to the peninsula. Let's get in the panhandle of Florida and then some. And then that is stretching all the way up to Alaska. They have modern day Alaska. Or at least they did until West Virginia went out on their own. So there's probably like a hundred years or so where they did have all of North America pretty much. And then this state got their independence. Even West Virginia has a peninsula for themselves. This one is Baja, California. I want to live in West Virginia. John Denver could sing a song about my home. Or would it actually be about Western Virginia? like Winnipeg, Canada, and Helena. Now I need an alternative history version of the John Denver song, West Virginia, where he just sings about California and the Pacific states. So the full names of these places are Federal Republic of West Virginia and the Commonwealth of Virginia. Almost didn't even notice that with this universe, there have been some pretty big changes to Latin America, or at least Central America. Plus, Mexico lost a lot of their northern territory. Although Texas did lose this little edge down here. Probably not worth it though. Overall, Mexico's still giving up a lot more land. I'm guessing that's because Virginia was following some sort of parallel going straight down the landmass. They're no longer following the Rio Grande River. And with that, the Yucatan Peninsula became its own country. And then some strange things are happening over here. This is the greatest type of lore ever. We need no other explanation. No Hoover Dam. Well, someone did give us some lyrics. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Rocky Mountains, Colorado River. Life is older, older than the skis. That works way too well. Can we like just do this for a day or something, please? A VPN map if Germany won at World War One. So if you zoom in a little more, you can see Germany has their old empire borders. Also, Austria-Hungary still here, and I'm assuming that's still the Ottomans? Or is that Turkey, maybe? Oh, and I love the list of countries. We also get to see little flags next to them. That's a nice little detail. Central America might have been unified, and so has Oceania with Australia and New Zealand, probably. So is Eastern Europe just like a bunch of German puppets at this point? Also, it's hard to tell if the VPN is just drawing, like, really lazy borders like they normally do, or do we have, like, some sort of unified Scandinavia? It's been so perfect if I had a VPN sponsorship right now, but what if the population of Hong Kong was moved to Northern Ireland in 1997? And I'm giving an oddly specific year because this was an actual proposal. Archives reveal bizarre proposal to uproot Hong Kong population into Northern Ireland city. I'm so disappointed this didn't happen. At this time, Great Britain had to hand over Hong Kong to China, and I guess there were some worried that the 5.5 million inhabitants would have no future with them. So this was originally proposed to revitalize the Northern Irish economy. So so it wasn't doing so well in the 90s. This would be the flag of the dependency of the new Hong Kong. Please, God, no. You know, I was all aboard this idea until I saw this flag. Kill me. Last thing we need is more Union Jack watermarks. I know this is an alternative history, so we don't know exactly what flag they would have gone with, but... I think it's safe to say they probably would have done it. So they weren't able to get all 5.5 million, it looks like, which is understandable. They still got four, though. Pretty easy to transport four million people just across the globe. They were actually relocated in a lot of different areas of this territory. But New Hong Kong was positioned exactly where the real-life proposal decided it was going to go. Also, was some of the population just going to move to Belfast, too? A closer look at the city shows that this is pretty much Hong Kong, but in Ireland. Would they have enough potatoes, though? What I want to know is, would this flag get any new representation in the Union Jack? That's the real question. Yes, yeah, so let's just go ahead and bring in a couple million Chinese speakers. That probably won't lead to any issues in an area dominated by English. Although estimates show in real life about 50% of people in Hong Kong can speak English. I really love that you brought this to my attention. This is like my favorite new proposal. What if the world was formed by super states? The top 10 economies would be the US, the Union State, Europe, India, China, Australasia, Pacifica, which is Japan, Arab Republic, Brazil, and Mexico. Let's just get this out of the way. We have the United Realms in Oceania which is actually just like an old British empire brought back to life. Oh, but Ireland is unified. That's different. But they did not get back British Raj or South Africa for that matter. So they're kind of doing their own thing. And I doubt they got back Hong Kong either. Oh, so this is actually the Federal Republic of Austronesia. It has nothing to do with the continent of Australia. It's just Indonesia and a lot of Southeast Asia, the Philippines. This would be pretty based. Like how China doesn't really need to change at all. It looks like they just stay China. They just add Mongolia. Japan once again unifies the Korean Peninsula under 
under their rule because that went so well last time. Then we have the Union State of Eurasia, which is, I think, a lot of former Soviet states. I mean, they have... Oh, I see what you did. We have new Russia here in Ukraine, and then there's Belarus also added to it. Ooh, the United Turkic Republic, or Staniland. Almost Staniland if Persia wasn't here. Also, this United Arab Federal Republic would be quite a powerhouse. All of the Arabian Peninsula and most of the Islamic world, except for Turkey, of course, because uh, Turkey is with the United Turkic Republic as well, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's in the name. And then Persia, yeah, Persia stuff. The EU is very interesting in this world. They didn't get Scotland, but they did get Ireland. They also didn't take Estonia because, of course, Estonia into Nordic. And they also somehow grabbed Georgia and Armenia. The United States is literally just the same, I think, unless they have some puppets that I'm not seeing. I don't think they, yeah, no. U.S. is just the same. South America has got some interesting things going on. Some unifications happen, except if, yeah, not Brazil. Mexico ate up Central America, and also the Caribbean has unified. This is just all called European Polynesia now. Wait, all are super states? Even Antarctica? Finally, this continent is unified. Latin Africa. What do I even want to know? Always love seeing world maps and how they can form super states in the future. There's always a different take in certain regions. Yeah, I think this could still all happen in eight years. Oh, wait a second. The United Realms, or the Canada, Austria thing and UK, they aren't in the top ten economies. Clearly, the all-powerful original Switzerland borders have got to be in that, though. Thank you for making me really want this in real life, sir. The colonization of this continent, which is actually just a flipped America, or a cornea in 1595. I'm pretty sure I played an exact EU4 mod like this. Of course, we have the normal colonizers returning to this continent, Portugal, Spain, France, England. But there might be some new faces like Scotland and Morocco. Well, technically speaking, Scotland did colonize America in real life. It just wasn't very successful. So we have the old Viking expansion, Norway grabbing up Iceland, and there is no Greenland, so they got the Falkland Islands, or the equivalent in this world. So we have new Norway and flipped Argentina. Also, Great Ireland, which is on the southern part of Chile, I think. What the hell's going on in the British Isles in this universe? Why is England struggling? Perhaps they've lost some wars against the French. They also just don't have as much territory to grab up because they're competing against so many other European powers. Look at Portugal. Of course, still grabbing Brazil, but that's like the southern part of Brazil. Well, it's the northern part. It's confusing. We also have the English grabbing a little bit here and say hello to Rio, Florida. Oh my god, that's actually not... That's Morocco. I that, thought that was... The, that That is the Morocco dynasty. Uh, it's understandable that more African nations would get here probably sooner just because... I don't know. So much closer. Spain is not actually doing that much. Oh, wait a second. Is this world... Oh, this world is cut off. They did that thing where the Pope guaranteed land, so they're doing like straight across things, I guess. Well, I don't know if the Pope did this, but it's just an agreement. Three years before the War of the Ocean's Gate. That sounds so epic. I want to see that. I like some of the new names for these places, like Henry Land. Now, I really want to see this world's South America now. You can see Panama a little bit down there. Would it be like Oceania? Like, it's so far away, no one really wants to go out there. It'd be getting close. Alaska, if you think about it, would be getting very close to Australia. I love how some people can just turn poop posts into something so legendary. Map of Europe after the Great Flood, an event where most of the ice caps melted and raised sea levels 300 meters. So we're seeing a world forced to survive in the areas that are really high above sea level. So Italy has some spots still left, but they have lost northern Italy. France is now just surviving in the south, which so is a lot of countries like Germany. I love how Switzerland and Austria literally stay the exact same. Oh, Italy was forced to lose some spots. Some became independent because they got cut off from the rest of the land masses. Southern Balkan Union. Even in a world where the ice caps have flooded the earth, still would be no Balkan Union. Communist states of Romania? So, like, water rises and Romania's like, screw it, let's go back to communism. Norway has these huge mountains up here, so they're still good. Sweden's gone, though, which I'm sure they like. Also, the British Isles are just a shell of their former self. Safe to say they're probably not that powerful in this universe. Looks like the strongest country would probably be the Iberian Union. I don't even know how this is an Iberian Iberian Union when Portugal's still here, but in terms of land area, they might have the most, or maybe greater Algeria. Would also, Algeria, is that still like a giant desert? I don't see why it wouldn't be. I'm pretty sure it still would be a giant desert. Maybe it would change weather patterns. Maybe there would be more rain clouds. I don't know. Just another reason to live in Switzerland, honestly. I like how Slovenia, that's right next to the Adriatic Sea, somehow moved to where Slovakia is. This world's having crazy things happen. I'd love to see a version of this, but with the full world map like this word. The new United States of America, or if Japan became became the 51st state after World War II. I think that's the 51st state. It looks like they're doing a different pattern over here. So because it was just after World War II, at least I believe so, we're also getting Taiwan and Hong Kong with it. But no Philippines? We might as well just kept the Philippines. So we dropped the nukes and then annexed this territory completely in 1947. But it looks like it was kept as just overseas territory until 12 years later. Languages English, Japanese, Spanish, Korean, Chinese. Spanish? How did that 
that get in there? Of course, the state capital is Tokyo. Largest city is Tokyo. We might as well just make our nation's capital Tokyo. And here is the Amtrak from Tokyo to MacArthurville. We also renamed a whole lot of the Japanese cities, except for Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Gotta keep those. Did the car manufacturer decide, no, Detroit's not a good place to build. We're gonna go to Japan. Makes sense. Japanese cars pretty good. Last forever. My Ford, on the other hand, is struggling after 10 years. And here is some Japanese state advertising to travel here. Explore Japan. Amtrak. Ooh, Miku Miku. There we- wait, why is that Seattle? Why would you need a pair of chopsticks to eat our sandwiches? Two hands and five fingers are good enough. Really, you don't need the sticks. <laughs> Seriously, says McDonald's. They're just like actively trying to get the population to stop. This would be interesting because the Alaskan island chain, wouldn't it be too far from this northern island chain that Japan has up here? Love how a universe where Japan, a place that's like thousands of miles away, became a state, and I guarantee you Puerto Rico still has not ripped Puerto Rico. Cannot into state from Tokyo with love. I like that. This map is titled Awkward Silence, or if World War One ended in a stalemate. Love that title. So Germany, the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and the Ottomans are all still around. But so is Britain, France, Italy, and not necessarily Russia, because Russia had their revolution still. The Germans weren't able to push that deep into Russia, though. Ukraine is independent. Oh, I think the monarchy might still live somewhere around here, and I think the Ottomans control the Caucasus Mountain region. Did all of China fall under France, or is this some sort of... I've just never seen... No. I've just never seen a blue China before. Japan didn't get all that much out of World War One, but... Uh, uh, they still ended up invading Manchukuo. There's probably going to be a war here no matter what. So I'm assuming a lot of the monarchies are still in place, except now we have this big red communist power over this way. And we still have America doing their thing. Oh, there's a huge Russian Republic out this way. Is there a difference between this Russian Republic and South Russia? I think they're all working together. Also, does France somehow control the Philippines? Those look like similar colors. So in this universe, there is no failed skinny mustache man that doesn't get into art school, or maybe he still doesn't get into art school. He just doesn't go anywhere after that. He just like some homeless dude. Germany remains really powerful and they're probably going to be a huge thorn in everyone's side still. It's probably only a matter of time before World War II breaks out again in this universe. It's just obviously a very different World War II. How does a monarchist Germany handle a union of Soviet socialist republics? They despise them as much as the no-no Germans did in real life? Do they not really care? I mean, I don't know. I would assume this is where most of the problems are going to occur because now we're going to see communist uprisings like throughout the world. Maybe the U.S. even becomes communist. I'm trying to justify that, but I can't think of any reason why. Maybe in this world, the U.S. really despises monarchies now since they still dominate the world. And during the Great Depression, they're like, Desperate for answers. So, like, hey, this Soviet Union thing looks like they got something going on over here. I feel like the Germans would still end up losing their allies, like Austria Hungary and the Ottomans, even if there was a stalemate. And then I wonder what happens. And big thanks to Why Am I Doing $20 This? $20 is a lot, a Drew. Fat Norwal, Barnsky w, Drew's Argentinian bring Grandpa, back Chris3773, Good Old Raya, I Stole Drew's Pet Jekov, Dog, Bruni, Luxembourg, Nation Matt, Rich, Dortmund, Fresh Animation, e, Ronjay, the, the Polish Lithuanian, the Mexican 760, Twicken, Hamilton, Boy, 